Shattered Memories from Climax Studios and Konami is the latest Silent Hill experience. And it's also not. The horror title bears a faint resemblance to the 1999 PlayStation game that it's based on. Confused, snow-wrecked father Harry Mason stumbles through the eerily isolated town of Silent Hill in search of his daughter, just as he did a decade ago on Sony's console. So you're going to see some familiar faces and places and even encounter similar story arcs. But this is not a remake, it's a full-blown reimagining, and many of the conventions of the series have been altogether lost in the update. The end experience is a bold departure that usually succeeds and occasionally fails, yet love it or hate it, Shattered Memories has an identity all its own. The adventure horror game follows Harry as he treks through the blizzard-struck town, its buildings and homes seemingly empty, save for a few scattered individuals. Something is terribly wrong, but you don't know what, and of course that's part of the allure. Now this is a beautiful game. The world and characters are meticulously rendered, wholly realistic and immersive, all brought to life with uncommonly high production values. The hero and the people he meets along his journey are detailed, sport fluid animation, and are voiced by professional actors with convincing results. And the town, full of interactive bars, apartments, woods, fishing docks, amusement parks, and unpredictable icy hells, is overrun with variety and seamlessly connected. You're going to believe in it, even when the monsters come screaming out of the ice. The only drawback to the streaming presentation is that there are occasional lags as Harry bursts through doorways. For as immersive as the world is, the star attraction is definitely the flashlight Mason wields. You simply point the Wii remote and the beam illuminates the environments with amazing pixel-perfect accuracy, casting shadows and even lighting up individual snowflakes. Not only does it add mood, but it looks really, really good. At the heart of the game is a psych profile system that watches your every move and alters the experience based on your choices. This all begins with a psychologist who asks you a series of sorted questions about your morality and sexuality. Then you're off, and as you journey into the darkness and interact with the world, your every subtle action is analyzed and the game world dynamically changes. So if you look at semi-nude posters of bikini-clad babes on the wall, the cop you meet in the diner might actually appear more voluptuous, and the monsters that lumber after you more phallic. It's a unique mechanic that extends the replay value of what is otherwise a decidedly short game, about six hours. You can play through it again and make different decisions to see some notable character, dialogue, and monster changes. Disappointingly, though, many of the alterations are purely cosmetic in nature. The creatures themselves take on some spooky new designs, for example, but their behavior never adapts or evolves, which is unfortunate. Come on. Let's talk more about the bad stuff that happened at school. Shattered Memories is split up into two gameplay types. The first is straightforward exploration and puzzle solving. This is where the game's complex and intentionally disorienting narrative is also told. The puzzles can border on arbitrary, but they are also enjoyable, especially those that incorporate Mason's trusty cell phone. The second type involves running for your very life, and this is where Silent Hill transforms from an unsettling experience to a terrifying one. The trademark creatures of the series give chase to the hero whenever an icy sheen covers the town. Harry doesn't have any weapons, and yes, you heard that correctly, not a single one. This is true of the entire game, so you have to run. And it's genuinely frightening because the monsters are smart and relentless. They'll follow you everywhere, whether through doors, across chasms, or even under crawl spaces. The problem is that you'll come to recognize very quickly how it works. When there's ice, you're scared, it's time to run. When there's no ice, you're kind of at ease. And that's a bit of a disappointment. Shattered Memories is a departure from the traditional Silent Hill experience in the same way that Resident Evil 4 reimagines the survival horror genre. Some fans are bound to take offense to that truth, but I don't happen to be one of them. While very different, the game bears some resemblance to the series, and Climax's new gameplay concepts are both bold and refreshing. The Wii Remote tethered flashlight controls beautifully and looks spectacular. The narrative is largely unpredictable and immersive. The world is always eerie, and when the monsters come out, absolutely terrifying. There's plenty of fun from beginning to end, the latter of which unfortunately comes a little too soon. Be sure to read my in-depth review at IGN.com.